Okay, when we were brothers, Dhamma friends. So we are going to start the English Dhamma discussion uh, till Bhante Dhamma Jeeva returns on every Thursday at 7.30 at Nisarnwane. We hope to conduct this uh, English Dhamma discussion. And basically we were discussing uh, some interesting series. <coughs> that is actually the Parayana Vagga of uh, Sutta Nipata. So the Sutta Nipata itself is a very is a very interesting and uh, uh, early Buddhist teachings are included there and we are that the Buddha's first 20 years how he conducted Dhamma sermons and how he has uh, delivered Dhamma sermons to uh, venerable monks so who are really inclined towards attaining Nibbana and there is no much explanation about the early, st- uh, I mean the Sota, Panna, Sakadagami, Anagami type of states, but directly. So Buddha has delivered information, instructions, uh, details about the Arahanthood, and they come to him, approach him, and ask various questions, some profound questions, and then Buddha delivered a short sermon. And these intelligent people are quite capable of understanding that and then practice that and attain arahanthut. So this is very interesting uh, that we can recognize in the Sutta Nipata and the uh, very, uh, say, perfected people, so perfected in paramis, so they approach the Buddha, ask various profound questions, and then that dialogue has caused them to attain higher attainments. Uh, this Parayana Vagga is something like that, where one uh, Brahmin called, what is his name? Uh, Bhavari, yeah, Bhavari Brahmin. So he's uh, a teacher, already 120 years old, and uh, he has particularly 16 students, and each of them are leading 500 uh, students. So it's a vast amount of uh, gathering, and they were living harmoniously in Dakinagiri uh, as a ascetic group. Brahmin ascetic group and uh, and this uh, Bavari actually faced a little situation after a sacrifice after an offering one another Brahmin approached him and asked something but asked some money but this person couldn't give anything because he hasn't everything finished because of his uh, all sacrifice and ultimately this this uh, second Brahmin actually made a curse and so that made when this Bhavari Brahmin uh, certainly afraid, frightened. So as a result of that, he couldn't eat and all that. He, he become basically depressed. And then one deity helped him and asked him to uh, approach the Buddha and ask uh, the questions. What is Savijja or what is the head and how one can split the head? So that is how it is uh, presented and then he approached his students and asked them to reach, s- go for the Buddha and ask various questions. And they approached the Buddha and asked questions and the all, all that questions were asked through the mind. And then Buddha answering them uh, through words so others can listen to that. So actually when they were arriving, <coughs> Buddha was delivering some Dhamma to the others. And so this Bhamin started asking questions through the mind. <coughs> and then Buddha started a- answering them through words. So that's how it all began. And ultimately, uh, so one after the other, now Brahmins are asking various questions. And Buddha was answering that one after the other. So first we discussed about the Ajita. So that is the, the Brahmin Ajita asked questions. And we last time discussed about that particular one. So today I think we have the Punnaka, the Punnaka's questions. Uh, Punnaka is the second Brahmin who is asking questions from the Buddha and that is what we are going to listen today. So let me first uh, recite the English, sorry, uh, the Pali verse which uh, Venerable Punnaka is asking from Buddha. Anejang mula dasaving, atti panhena agamang. King Nisita is Isayo Manuja Katya Brahmana Devatanang Yanya Makapa Yinsu 
puthu ida loke puchami tang bhagava bruhi metha so i cordially invite venerable dhamma vijita to uh, come up with the english translation of that verse yes bante um this is from the bhikkhu bodhi sutta nipata page 330 and this is the third uh group of verses and it is uh the questions of punaka uh punaka mana vaputcha and this is verse 1043 <clears throat> to the one without impulse seer of the root i have come in need with a question on what ground have many rishis men kattias and brahmins here in the world performed sacrifice to the deities i ask you blessed one please declare this to me yeah so maybe the single translation i request venerable dhamma alankara to present osraisun samnas punnaka manava puccha aishmat punnaka mise vicharai krishna rahita u එහෙයින් අටලෝ දහම් හි කම්පා රහිත වූ අකුසල මූලාදිය දක්නා සුළු වූ භාග්‍යවතුන් වහන්සේ කරා ප්‍රශ්නයෙන් ප්‍රයෝජන ඇත්තමෝ ආම්භ මෙලවර් ඍෂුහුය මනුෂ්‍යයෝය ශාස්ත්‍රීයෝය බ්‍රාහ්මණයෝය යන බොහෝ යාගකරුවෝ කුමක් ඇසිරි කළා වූ දෙවියනට දෙය ධර්මය පරේෂණය කෙරෙද්ද යාග කෙරෙද්ද භාග්‍යවතුන් වහන්ස ඒ කරුණ problem they were doing a huge dana the huge offering huge sacrifice so they sometimes conduct uh, what we call the agni sacrifice via the gini puja uh, various rituals related to fire offerings and sometimes they may be doing uh, homa and different kinds of things are there in the whatever these uh, hindu traditions so these are the what uh, they are asking and now the question they want to know is why this uh why these offerings are done so what's the purpose of these sacrifices now these people are very much involved in that but anyway they are asking uh what is the purpose why they are doing this to uh all the devas why they are doing it and so he has used certain words to represent the buddha anejam mula dasavin anejam anejam means so he's the eja eja is the what you call uh, tanha the craving so aneja means the one who has no craving so buddha is the one completely free from craving so hence it is called uh, buddha is called aneja <laughs> and then mula dasaving so buddha can see the roots so what are the roots of all the defilements and all the causes so buddha in particular can see all the causes not just the superficial understanding but he can see he can penetrate and see can see the depth so so in a way we can see i mean even the question has certain philosophy isn't it i mean he doesn't immediately ask so what bante what is this uh, uh, what's the purpose of uh, doing sacrifices so that is the is that is the question basically but before asking like that he he give a kind of a a uh, representation or kind of a way of uh, recognizing the buddha as anejang and mula dasaving so buddha is the one who has completely uprooted craving so he becomes the aneja and then mula dasaving so he buddha is capable of understanding the roots so so you are the ones who understand all the roots so please i have a question so that's why i have arrived arrived here i i have come here so all these rishis all the say brahmins khatiyas brahmanas and they conduct sacrifices to the devas so what's the purpose of that 
right? So can you repeat the English one again, please? So I mean, answer, could I give a different ah, sure. English translation? Good, good. Yes, uh, yes, please. Um, it's, it seems a little more clear. Um, this is from the Nanamoli translation. Um, to the unmoved one who sees the root, it is that I have. It is that I have come with a question. On account of what did human sages, warriors, and brahmanas make sacrifice to the gods in manifold ways here in the world? I ask you, O oh blessed one, do tell me that. So on what account of what did human sages, warriors, brahmanas make sacrifice? Like yeah. What account? For what, what, what reason? Account? What reason? Yeah. Yes. So that's the question he's asking. So this is a very c common thing. I mean, it's, uh, in all the traditions, all different kinds of religious traditions, people uh, people s consider that the devas are really the higher than them. They venerate them. They respect the devas, and they think, okay, they are going to help me, help us. So as a result of that, they offer something to the devas. Even in Sri Lanka, people go to different places, offering flowers, offering uh, say fruits. <laughs> Uh, so that to the devas and they are asking this and that. So anyway, now, yes, please. Yes, Bhante, I, I have noticed that the Pali translation of devas to English is also gods. Gods. So you could say for um, Westerners, maybe, you know, it's like we're making sacrifices to the gods. God, exactly. It's the same thing. Yeah. Same thing. I mean, we may be using different names yes. from, from different cultures, but we are doing the same thing. <laughs> yes, thank you, Bhante. <laughs> Either we do it in Sri Lanka or India or US, doesn't matter. But we consider, okay, devas are really above us and they are going to help us. So please uh, look at me. Please be compassionate to me. I am now offering you some flowers. I am now going to offer some fruits by this uh, offering. So please help me. <laughs> so that's the kind of a mentality that people are having. And so anyway, now this way, when we put the Brahmin Punnaka is asking uh, the purpose of uh, offering this. Now Buddha is going to answer this. Yekechi isayo manuja kathya brahmana devatana yanya makappa yinsu putu idhaloke asing mana punnaka itha bhavang jarang sita yanya makappa yisu yekechi me isayo manuja kathya brahmana devatana Yanya makappa yin suputu i the loke Asing mana punnaka itabhavang Jarang sita Yanya makappa yin su. So, uh, what's the English translation? This is the Bhikkhu Bodhi yeah. translation. Um, verse 1045. Uh, these many rishis, men, katiyas, and brahmins who here in the world, heedful on the path of sacrifice, performed sacrifices to the deities. Did they cross over birth and old age, dear sir? Oh, no, no, no. I, I, I'm sorry, the I skipped answer. one. Yeah. Yes, this is uh, verse 1044. These many rishis, men, katiyas, and brahmins, who here in the world have performed sacrifice to the deities, did so, Pumnaka, yearning for a state of being, bound to old age, they performed sacrifices. Yeah. So the Singhala translation. Oh, sorry, Bhante. Buduhu miseva dana punnakeya melokehi rishuhuya manushayoya shastriyoya brahmanayoya Yana Mebudu Yam Boho Yaga Karuo, Devi and a Tayaga Kered, Punna Kea, Ohujarava, Sasara Dukmisa, Me Manusha di Bahave, Patan Nahu, Devi and a Tayaga Kered. So basically, so they want to offer things and uh, sacrifices, various, and uh, expecting maybe long life, expecting uh, further existence, and uh, maybe longevity. So that is the reason why they are offering these things. 
so basically they may go through may various diseases so they want to rec- recover from that quickly they are going to decay old age so now they going to die so but they want to delay it they want to live longer and so asking that longevity so they are asking uh, some help from the devas so going through some diseases they want to recover from that quickly so they are asking some favors from the devas so likewise so these people either brahmins either either uh, rishis or khatiyas that means the the khatiya clans and then brahmins so all that they simply go through all this uh, whatever common to the humanity but they are they want more they want to extend extend their lifetime they want to live more they want to live a healthy life but unfortunately they are getting to subject to various diseases they are going to die now in order to stop death in order to stop getting diseases or to quickly recover from diseases now they are offering various things to the deities and asking their help so that's very common that's a very very common thing if you go even today to even say even a temple so temples also now have various deities so they have different uh, in sri lanka maybe so they are coming from the hindu tradition also there's a significant influence coming from hindu traditions so now even at temples they have constructed deva deva what's that devala shrine 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 rooms for various devas and people carry all these fruits and offer to those devas and asking this and that yeah exactly even in the buddhist temples so that is in a way uh, <laughs> a kind of a shame by the way that's what people are doing so they they can't they can't see th- some deeper dhamma so what they simply say do is offer some fruits and asking something from the devas some favors from the devas because now probably their child is not well and maybe themselves is not not well and they are going to die they are afraid of death so they need some kind of a blessing so likewise they go and offer something and asking some favors some blessings uh, some help from the devas from the deities so it's a very very common thing even today not only in sri lanka i mean even sometimes people are going to some you know some uh, favorite such places so very popular such places are there so they even go there i mean not particularly to the temple uh, shrine room but they are going to very far places very far shrines available in the down south like kathragama is there and like that many many places are there in india but there are thin what's that uh, in india also there are many such places even from sri lanka they go there and ask this and that <laughs> so this is the this is the culture coming not from today i mean it's a very long time eh tirupati tirupati yeah politicians you they go there if they want to now upcoming elections are there they want to win the election so they go to india tirupati and they offer this and that and they are asking that you see <laughs> it's a kind of a ridiculous thing but anyway so this is how people are doing okay then we will see why, what the buddha answers yekh so that is what uh, buddha mentioned uh, that uh, people are asking the longevity people are asking some favorism and they being going to die they want to live longer so that's what they are, they are asking from the devas now again punnaka is asking from the buddha yekechi me isayo manuja khatya brahmana devatanam yanya makappa insu puthu id loke kachissu te bhagava yanya pathe appa matta atharu jatincha jarancha marisa puchchami tam bhagava bruhi metam yekechi me isayo manuja khatya brahmana devatanam yanya makappa insu puthu id loke kachissu te bhagava yanya pate appa matta atharu jatincha jarancha marisa puchchami tam bhagava bruhi metam so we go for the uh, english translation these many rishis men katiyas and brahmans who here in the world heedful on the path of sacrifice performed sacrifices to the deities did they cross over birth and old age dear sir i ask you blessed one please declare this to me आयुष्मत पुण्यक मिसे विचारय मे लोकेहि ऋषुय 
மனுஷயோய சாஸ்திரியோய பிராமணையோய யான மெபது பொஹோ யாக கருவோ தெவியனட யாக கிரேத் பாகியவத்துன் மஹான்ச கிம ஓஹு யாகேஹி அப்பிரமத்த ஊவாஹு ஜாத்தியாத் ஜராவாத் தரணே கலாஹுத நிதுகானன் வஹான்ச ஏய முபவஹான்சே விசாரமி பாகியவத்துன் வஹான்ச தெலகருண மட்ட வாதால மெனவி now punnaka is asking again a question now they are quite diligently offering all these sacrifices all these offerings to these uh, deities so please uh, have they accomplished their goal were they able to live longer were they able to overcome diseases were they able to overcome the old age so have they fulfilled their desire that is basically what uh, punnaka is asking so that's a very interesting question because people are simply blindly doing all that and uh, just following the rituals for just following the tradition going after all that and offering these things but they are quite diligently doing it they every year sometimes they have that wow they make a wow okay i'm coming every year to offer this so please help me so like that they have that kind of a wow so they are diligently doing it so now anyway when punna ke is asking the opposite question so have they done that have they accomplished their goal were they able to live longer as a result of these uh, offerings were they able to uh, say overcome old age as a result of these offerings were they able to overcome diseases as a result of these offerings so this is the question now punna ke is asking now buddha is answering asing santi thomayanti அபிஜப்பி ஜுஹாந்தி காமாபிஜப்பி பட்டிச்சலாபங் தே யாஜயோகா பவராகராத்தா நாதரின்சு ஜாதி ஜராந்தி பூமி ஆசின்சாந்தி தோமயாந்தி அபிஜப்பி ஜுஹாந்தி காமாஜி ஜப்பி பட்டிச்சலாபங் தே யாஜயோகா பவராகராத்தா நாதரின்சு ஜாதி ஜராந்தி பூமி ஸோ வீல் ஃபைண்ட் த இங்கிலீஷ் ட்ரான்ஸ்லேஷன் This will be the Nanamoli translation. Um, they hope, they praise, they long, they offer. They long for sensual pleasures on account of gains. They devoted, they devoted to sacrificing, impassioned by lust for being, did not cross over birth in old age. So, I see. Yeah. So basically, Buddha's answer is a negative answer. so even though they do that they are not getting it so we will see the single translation as well as reasons bhagyavatun mahanse meseva dala punnake ohu rupa pratilabhadiya prarthana kereti yagadiya pasasat rupaadi pratilabhe pinisa vag bheda keret pooja keret rupaadi pratilabhe sandaha puna puna kaapayanma apatu wamena vai kiyat யாகேஹி எதுனு பவராகேன் ரெந்துனு ஓஹு ஜாதி ஜராதி சசர துக்க தரணிய நொக்கலஹாய் கியமி ஸோ புத்த சிம்பிளி சே ஈவன் தோ தே டூ இட் டெலிஜென்ட்லி தே ஆர் நாட் கோயிங் டு க்ராஸ் தே ஆர் நாட் கோயிங் டு அக்காம்ப்ளிஷ் ஸோ பேசிக்கலி இட்ஸ் அ கைண்ட் ஆஃப் டினாயல் ஆஃப் த ஆல் தட் இன் இன் அதர் சென்ஸ் சென்ட் இட் ஸோ இட்ஸ் தட் பீப்புள் ஆர் டூயிங் இட் பட் தே ஆர் நாட் கோயிங் டு கெட் வட் தே நீட் so they want to get rid of uh, the diseases but they constantly take them i mean constantly they subject to that they want to live longer but they can't they may going to die so these sufferings can't uh, accomplish their will their wish but still people are doing it so that is the unfortunate thing i mean we can't stop that so coming from long time and people are doing that unfortunately even the temples are building these places and encouraging that so rather than sometimes people ask spending time in the buddhist buddhist shrine room in front of the buddha they go to the devala but that is uh, devas the deities shrine room and they start uh, asking this and that and certainly some people are there also to uh, sort of do it on behalf of them they they are the called kapuas uh, i don't know the english term for that Uh, there's an intermediate person who 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 is close to the <laughs> devas who you know how to talk to the deva 
and there's a uh, you know they may be holding a few uh, uh what's that uh, feathers of the peacock and uh, they are getting this offering from the whoever the de- devotee who is coming and then they go inside the shrine room and offer it to the deity and then on behalf of this person this kapua is the one doing the yaga one doing the request excuse me swami yeah. that reminds me of like i don't know like in christianity the priest is the person who's like the mediator between exactly. god and exactly. the regular person exactly so the regular person is not allowed to directly talk to the god instead the, we have to go through the mediator and not only the sacrifice we have to give some money to the mediator as well <laughs> so if you have put a large sum of money to the mediator they may do a long request uh, maybe a very heartfelt request to the god so that uh, we might be able to uh, get his support but if you give a little money to him then he will give a short request so you have to you have to you have to satisfy him as well so likewise many many interesting stories are there around this but anyway uh, this is a common tradition not only in sri lanka in many many countries so they have this kind of a thing and even unfortunately monks are involved in that so that's the unfortunate thing so monks sometimes uh, want to become the mediator that is quite wrong because monkhood is not a kind of a that kind of a job monkhood is not kind of a mediator or pujaka rather monk is a person who is uh, uh, trying to find out the path he is a person who is uh, practicing so he is not a mediator between the buddha and the devotee rather the devotee can directly talk to the buddha or i mean discuss or discuss or rather we can say see the buddha through the dhamma so monk does not help as a pujaka as a as a mediator in any sense so we should not uh, misunderstand monk and the typical uh, another role that the a person who is conducting these things uh, maybe as you said maybe in a church or maybe at another service or at another uh, hindu kovil uh, that person and the monk has a complete difference monk is entirely a different person where he is not a mediator at all yeah Uh, so now so this is actually in a way a little short uh, uh, sutta and asin santi thomayanti abijappanti juhanti kama abijappanti patichalabang te yaja yoga bhavara garatta na tarin su jati jaranti bhumi so basically buddha says so these people are not going to uh, get it they are basically uh, uh bound by the uh, existential lust existential type of greed so they want more and more and they want various material things and that is what they are asking and that is why they are doing all these rituals but they want they won't be able to cross over this uh, sansaric suffering by doing this and now buddha now now again uh, punnaka is asking another question teve natarinsu yaja yoga yanyehi jatincha jarancha marisa atako charahi deva manussa loke atari jatincha jarancha marisa puchchami tam bhagava bruhi meta teve natarinsu yaja yoga yanyehi jatincha jarancha marisa atako charahi దేవ మనుస్సలోకే అతారి జాతించ జరాంచ మారిస పుచ్చామితం భగవా బ్రూహి మేతా సో విల్ గో ఫర్ ద ఇంగ్లీష్ ట్రాన్స్లేషన్ ఇఫ్ డియర్ సర్ దోస్ ఇంటెంట్ ఆన్ సాక్రిఫైస్ బై దర్ సాక్రిఫైసెస్ డిడ్ నాట్ క్రాస్ ఓవర్ బర్త్ అండ్ ఓల్డ్ ఏజ్ దెన్ హూ హియర్ ఇన్ ద వరల్డ్ ఆఫ్ దేవస్ అండ్ హ్యూమన్స్ హ్యాస్ క్రాస్ ఓవర్ బర్త్ and old age dear sir i ask you blessed one please declare this to me right oh sorry sir aishmat punnaka mise vicharai nidukanan vahansa yaga yog yaja yoga u oh indin yagayan karana kota jatiya jarawat tarane nokala hunam nidukanan vahansa ekalhi devi minis lova kavarik jatiya jarawat tarane keleda ඒ කරුණ පුළුවිස්මි භාග්‍යවතුන් වහන්ස තෙලමට වදාළ මැනව 
Yeah. Now he is asking directly from the question. Now, if these people are offering all these sacrifices, offerings to the devas, and if they are not getting what they need, so they want to live longer, they want to overcome old age, they want to overcome diseases, but unfortunately they are not getting it. Then who is going to do it? Who is going to uh, get it? Who is the one getting it? Now that's the question. Now when Bhagavan Punna is asking. Now we'll see what Buddha is telling as the answer. Sankhaya lo kasmin paro varani. यस्िंजिता नत्ति कुहिंचि लोके सन्तो विधूमो अनीगो निरासो अथारिसो जाति जरन्ति भूमीति संखाय लोकस्मिन् परोवरानि यस्िंजिता नत्ति कुहिंचि लोके सन्तो विधूमो अनीगो निरासो अथारिसो जाति जरन्ति भूमीति सो इंग्लिश ट्रान्सलेशन दिस इज द बिकू बोडी ट्रान्सलेशन Having comprehended the far and near in the world, one without agitation, anywhere in the world, peaceful, fumeless, untroubled, wishless, has crossed over birth and old age, I say. Bhagyotun Nuhanse Meseva Dala Punna Kaya Satva Lokehi Paratma Bhava, Swatma Bhava Adi, Paravaranayan Nuvanin Vimasadat, Yam Srinak Shravayak Hata, Lohakisi Tanakki, Injitiyak Nadd, Sanhun Kheles Atihayin, Shant U, Kaya Dushcharita Adi, Dooma Virahita U, Raga Adi Upadrava Rahita U, Asha Rahita U, E Srinashrava Thema, jati jara tarane kele ai kiyami so basically now buddha talks uh, discuss a different line so rather than through by offerings these rituals that one can't get it instead one has to accomplish or overcome all the defilements so that's uh, basically discussed here like sankhaya lokasmin paro varani yassa injita injita nati So various injita, injita is the different kinds of agitations happening in the mind. That is basically because of the craving. Now, say for example, uh, uh, so we see some sights. So we being pulled to that sight. We may be desirous to that sight. We are being pulled to that sight. Maybe various sounds are there. Some interesting sound. We being pulled to that sound. Maybe certain tastes are there. Delicious tastes. We being pulled to that taste. smells are also the same different smells are there may be very beautiful very pleasant and those uh, odors we being pulled and similarly the tangibles we being pulled so likewise we are being constantly pulled we are being bombarded we are being uh, sort of uh, excited and as a result of that mind become agitated so you can't simply keep it quiet you can't simply keep it uh, calm relax because constantly all these senses are operating on the different uh, sense objects are there it causes sense impingements and that causes a lo- lot of disturbance to the inner mind so mind become disturbed mind become really agitated so you can you can't stay quiet you can't stay silent you can't stay peaceful because all these senses are operating and they are pulling this and that and all the attention is taken out so but if it is possible to stop that even though these bombardments happen all the sights sounds smells tastes tangibles and even thoughts are there is it possible for you to maintain a calm mind a relaxed mind stable mind unattached mind so then that's a, a fair difference no so it is not that you are asking someone to help you say please god help me i want to be free from all these agitations no you yourself have to go through certain practice so that practice has helped you to maintain such a mentality such a such a capacity while all these uh, impingements are available how about having a undisturbed mind unattached mind unassociated mind or unagitated mind so this is the best thing so this is something then relevant to your own <coughs> it is not that something that you can get through the help of the good deity but rather you have to have that you have to develop such a state of mind jasa injitang nathi so basically now there is no any sort of uh, injita 
injita means that such kind of agitation is not no more with, within the mind mind is unstressed irrespective of the experiences that one is going through mind is at rest without any kind of restlessness without any agitation without any disturbance so you are basically unperturbed okay yasinidan nati kuhinchi loke so wherever you go irrespective of different uh, experiences that you get still you are able to maintain such a thing santo so you are the one who has become calm the serene the mind has become sa- serene vidhumo so vidhumo basically means that you have expelled out expelled out all the defilements maybe we can say it's uh, defilements so you have expelled abandoned relinquished all defilements vidhumo typically the vidhumo means that now say sometimes uh, if you want to uh, get out of uh, bees say so you are you are burning something then the then it it, it generate lot of uh, fumes maybe lot of uh, what say dumata um, mokadde kiyanne fumes right dum uh, the the is a i think fume fume what's the meaning of fume you say vaporized, vaporized? exactly something like that even now say you are you are making a fire so when fire begins there's a large smoke coming out smoke yeah smoke yeah smoke so that smoke helps to uh you know chase away the other other say and so flies so and that kind of a thing so that is the vidhumo that means you are chasing out whatever what whatever you don't need by doing this kind of smoking or fumes and such, something like that so here we can say vidhumo means so that you have abandoned all the defilements so defilements can't come closer to you so because you have expelled them you have done the fumes you have done uh, smokes are there we are you are throwing them away so defilements can't come closer to you something like that and then uh, vidhumo anigo anigo thing i think uh, uh, free from trouble there is no any suffering so basically uh, for various uh, say uh, defilements itself are the ones make you unhappy you are troubled uh disturbed uh, so that is all not, not available so anigh free from any trouble so your mind is undisturbed you are in a very pleasant state mind is relax so you have no no suffering at all anigo niraso that means there is no asa there is no desire the mind is free from desires mind has no any any craving niraso atari atari uh, i don't know atari uh, i think uh, cross over atari so jati jaranti bhumiti so he has now cross over the jati and jara so birth and the aging so if we are able to uh, basically uh, accomplish this kind of a mentality we are able to achieve this kind of a state of mind so that is the way that one can overcome birth overcome death overcome diseases overcome old age all that so that is the that is the ultimate type of uh, answer that one has to go through you can't achieve it simply by offering something to the god you can't achieve it simply by asking some help from the gods deities rather you yourself have to exert effort you yourself have to practice you have yourself have to develop certain mental qualities say mindfulness concentration wisdom so that helps you to ultimately arrive this kind of a mentality so basically buddha is explaining that path now here interesting thing is uh, so that that path is not much explained in this verse but we can assume that uh, venerable punnaka was able to understand it <laughs> because punnaka himself is a intelligent person so now buddha is turning his attention to these uh, qualities that is required to overcome death overcome birth overcome suffering overcome diseases and death now buddha is turning his attention to this kind of a situation it is not that you can get some external support rather you need to develop yourself so you are the you are the saver of yourself there is no any external savior going to going to save you so that is the mentality you know so people are ex- having their mentality 
So there is an external savior. They are going to come and help me. So they are the ones uh, who know. They are the ones who have uh, blessing. They are the ones who have mighty power. I am a extra, entirely a useless fellow. I am an entirely a feeble, weak person. I can't do anything. Please help me. So I am on behalf of that. I am just giving you some offerings. I am giving you some fruits. <laughs> so please help me. So that's the kind of mean mentality people are having. But Buddha, instead giving a complete opposite answer, okay, you are the one responsible for your own liberation. No one else. No one else can purify you. No one else can purify you. You are you yourself have to purify yourself. Then you are free from birth. You are free from diseases. You are free from death. That's it. <laughs> so responsibility is taken upon us. Simple as that. So that's that's the difficult thing that people can't uh, achieve it because they they can't spend some time for that. They don't have much time for that. They have to look after this. You have to look after that. and they want to satisfy their senses they don't have enough time to spend for their own liberation even so they want to have a shortcut okay i am going to the god please help me please cross me over to the next show i am going to offer this kind of a deal a business <laughs> yeah so anything uh, you want to add yeah i'm just i'm just uh excuse me swami that's i wanted to uh say i i remember i was in india and i went to a uh, swami uh with a friend of a person that i'd met and i was staying with him and, and uh he wanted me to go to the swami mm. and uh the hindu temple and um uh i i saw the swami talking to this lady you know before me and my friend were going to go talk to him and mm. uh she seemed sort of she seemed distressed and she was i don't know telling him like some troubles i i feel like uh, she was uh, or her troubled mind something problems she was having and i remember the swami was just um he was just like reassuring her he was you know kind of lifting her up and saying you know it's okay it's okay, it's okay yeah, and yeah. uh uh God you you know you. god will help you yeah, something you know <laughs> i mean they're speaking in uh that was in gujarat so they're speaking gujarati mm-hmm. um uh, so but um then the swami spoke in english to us and uh you know asked if i had any questions i i didn't have any questions and um but he was saying that something like he told us in english that he was you know you just have to sort of you know like put the as far as i can remember it was something like you've got to sort of lift them up you you have to to, to speak about this woman we've got to um sort of dispel yeah. the troubles that they're feeling and uh sort of reassure them or something mm. to give give them a positive feeling feeling mm. yeah, yeah. uh but yeah it just it seems like um that's also true i mean yeah. we can't say that uh, <clears throat> every ca- every time one self has that capacity to quickly uplift themselves so once they mm-hmm. face with the trouble so they become depressed so how one can mm-hmm. himself overcome that may be difficult yeah. so that's why the counseling and so associations are there good friends are there mm-hmm. you can approach them you can sort of basically explain what is your trouble and they can help you Mm-hmm. so basically that i mean basically we also doing in the in the buddhist sense so it is not that uh, every mm-hmm. time we we ourselves can overcome everything rather you can go to a friend you can go to a kalyana mitra you can go to a teacher you can go to a monk whatever and then uh, basically uh, they may give various reasons of why why you have you come to that that level so maybe because of the karma that is one reason maybe you haven't uh, spent enough time maybe that is another reason maybe someone else has put something there are various reasons explained in the uh, grimananda sutta now say for example in the if one come across a disease say you have a disease so what is the exact cause of the disease so buddha gives eight causes there uh, there are there are diseases because of the uh, what's that vata samuttana abada so because of the air so there's an imbalance of air such diseases can happen then pitta samuttana abada the bile 
So the, if there is an Im- imbalance of the bile, if excess of bile, then such uh, diseases can happen. Vata samuttana abada, pitta samuttana abada, semha samuttana abada, because of the phlegm. If there is a over or excess phlegm, diseases can happen. Sannipataja abada, so there's uh, all these three can become little imbalance, not in appropriate portions, uh, preposition, uh, pos- pr- pr- amounts, and then as a result of that, that, that can happen. Sannipataja abada. Then Uttuparinama ja abada. You know, due to various climatic issues, say, assume that every day now it is raining, so we become easily sick. You may, you might get cold, you can easily get fever. It is not that uh, something, someone else has made something, but the climate is not good, so you easily get sick. So assume that if it's really hot environment and you, you are in the higher temperatures, that also can make you sick. So likewise, the, the climatic issues is another ro- reason for one to get, become sick. Uh, what's that? Utuparinama uh, ja abada. Then visama parihara ja abada. So Buddha mentioned if you are not doing well or if you are not keeping yourself well, you are not having properly bathed so or you are not having proper food, inappropriate food you are going to have, so you are drinking alcohol or you are not having enough sleep. So likewise you are not properly maintaining your body. Then you easily get sick. Visama parihara ja abada. Then opakkamika abada. Opakamika abada means, uh, say, someone else can make you sick also. Say, someone else can hit you, can put you some uh, poison, or maybe that kind of a, someone else's influence can affect your health. That is also possible. That is uh, opakamika abada. Ultimately, the kama vipakaja abada. So, eight causes. Kama vipakaja abada means the kama. Because of your previous acts, it can have a certain influence on today's health. It also is another reason. It is not that all the sickness happens because of the karma. Rather, many other causes are available. So, maybe a physician might be able to recognize either it is the three three humors. Vata, Pitta, Semha. The, the air, bile and phlegm. Whether is there any imbalance of that is there. A physician can recognize that. So, they are, they are giving medicine to balance it, properly balance it so that you, you recover. Maybe uh, like that. I mean, you can you you can uh, you can make a s- uh, fair suggestion or fair as- assumption. So, what is the exact cause of this particular re- this particular disease that is possible? So, likewise, uh, so Buddha Buddha has taken a very you know uh, unbiased approach. So, rather than telling okay, it is because of the karma directly. So, he says all these different causes could be possible. Karma is just one eighth of the causes. But unfortunately, people are always thinking whenever they go through some kind of a suffering, they simply say, oh, that is my karma, that is my karma. That is wrong. <laughs> but it can, it can be due to various other causes and they, they are not considering that they haven't properly maintained their body or they have gone through certain serious causes because of the climate and whatever it is, something like that. So it is more more a realistic approach that Buddha has given, not any superficial, blindfolded kind of approach. But unfortunately, people are when when they sick, they become really down and they depressed. So they want some help from somewhere. So the easy approach is to go to the go to the deity and asking asking some help. So because they are down, then someone else can actually misuse that opportunity. You know that uh, someone else. Who can simply say, okay, give me something, then I am going to get the help, some external help from someone. So, please give me something. So, that is a kind of misusing of that person's despair, that person's un, uh, the misfortune. On the other hand, some, some another good person can help him as well. He can simply help him as a Kalyana Mitta. Okay, don't worry, I mean, you have to do this, you have to go to this particular doctor, you, he will give you some medicine and he will recover you and you have to do, you have to eat only these proper food then you may recover quickly. So don't go to extreme situations like maybe in the moisture or ex- something like that. You have to take care of your body. So likewise, another person can see what is the exact causes of all and help him to behave properly, isn't it? So behave so that he quickly recover. All that matters. So as when, we, when, we, when one becomes sick, not only the medicine, maybe the proper food also matters. How you are maintaining your body also matters. 
taking the taking the medicine on time proper time that also matters and whatever the meals that you are taking has to be properly uh, cooked or whatever say appropriate that also matters so likewise many causes are there and your mentality also matters so you are maintaining a good conduct you are maintaining good virtues and you are you are you are in a positive positive mood i am going to recover so that is also matters so likewise many causes are there for one to recover quickly so if we consider like that then buddha sansa is really a, a a a reasonable answer where but anyway buddha is giving uh, the answer in the ultimate sense so to completely overcome diseases for that you need to become you need you should not have a birth <laughs> so if you if you have a birth anyway you can't stop being sick so that is available in this package so once you <laughs> once you born you are once you are born to this world you are bound to become sick you are bound to become old that you can't stop so we are going through that you can't stop that but if you want to completely overcome that you have to become an arahant and don't come back to another birth if you have a birth death is certain you can't have a birth without death simple as that so then what the solution is that don't come for another birth so how to overcome the birth so that is by overcoming all the defilements causing another birth so simply we have arrived the end of this sutta i don't know whether are there any you have question yes yes yeah uh also right sir me in this sense uh, according to this statement sans sanhun kelesati hein i think this is a singular meaning of this injiteo uh, swamina sir according to our meditation practices then we can uh, identify whatever arises and passes away let's say thoughts and defilements so sanhun means it's a very um, low waves and very low amount of defile, defilements of kind of things and can you explain more about this uh, sanhun kelesati hey no i don't know is this single meaning is uh, how, how long yes, is it yeah. maybe yasse injitang nathi so yasse injitang nathi now if we consider uh, uh, immediately we can't say that uh, one has that capacity you can maintain certain amount of indriya samvara say rather than you are arousing various defilements say you are maintain certain amount of restraint so you are restraining your eyes you are restraining your ears nose tongue body so as much as possible you are not uh, allowing it to spoil not going allowing it to po- pollute but that's a very temporary temporary uh, state only through the morality through the seal but on the other hand how about developing vipassana so that uh, even though you see mind is not disturbed even though you hear mind is not disturbed so that is the profound state that we need to target so that is that is something happening as you continue your vipassana practice because what we do in vipassana is that uh, say you are building certain amount of mindfulness building certain amount of concentration and with that you do a constant observation investigation say various phenomena are happening on your body so you are paying your attention and see their true nature so again and again we have to Uh, say make aware of the mind so what is the true nature of all this that may be bodily phenomena so what is the true nature maybe feelings what is their true nature and maybe thoughts what is their true nature so by seeing them so mind realizes so that is not a superficial understanding but it's a very direct understanding yatha bhuta jnana dasana means that you are directly seeing it so this is it so you are confirm about it you are very sure about it because you yourself have seen it through the direct 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 knowledge so that makes a significant uh, change in your mind where you become dispassionate about this whole process and you want you understand okay i can never find satisfaction in this this kind of situation the bodily phenomena are like this arising and passing away as you said uh, say feelings are like this they are also subject to arising and passing away changing and various mental phenomena maybe maybe the various perceptions maybe thoughts uh, volitions all that all have the same nature they also are coming and going arising and passing so how can i have peace from them a constantly arising and passing a constantly changing so then i can't have a permanent state from them so as a result of that the mind mind understands that and as a result of that mind start 
dispassionate towards that kind of not interested about it and now what happen now it withdraws the mind withdraws from all that so it doesn't want to be attached to the body instead it withdraws from the body mind doesn't want to attach to the feelings <coughs> it instead withdraws from the feelings similarly the, from the volitions from uh, from the thoughts now mind finds its own solace mind finds its own refuge where is it no yeah this is not so th- without any condition phenomena so mind has to maintain its uh, status without attached to condition phenomena simple as that so now with the saying to bahir ditte ditta matta now once you found this refuge so now maintain morality or rather uh, restraint ditte ditta matta bavisati sute sute matta bavisati mute mute matta bavisati vinyate vinyata matta bavisati when you see just limited to mere seeing when you hear just limited to mere hearing when you smell taste touch limited to mere smell taste touch when a thought arise limited to a mere thought don't go after that so your 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 behavior is very much like undisturbed already the undisturbed nature so we are promoting now so say thoughts are coming but you are you are not involved with that thought you are not going to attach to that thought maybe sounds coming you are not disturbed because you are not attached to that you because you know that sounds are coming and going you have seen it maybe different bodily phenomena happen but you are not disturbed because you know they are coming and going you already seen that and maybe uh, sights are happening but you are not disturbed because you know they are also coming and going i am not disturbed by you you are maintaining this undisturbed uh, say unagitated mentality so that is where slowly slowly so you become stable so your mind become fairly stable irrespective of all these sense impingements now mind remains calm mind remains quiet mind remains stable so that is the injitang nathi injita that said i i mentioned this all sounds are pulling us sights are pulling us smells are pulling us so mind become really agitated so constantly is asking this and that and you are in a constant turmoil constant agitation but if you are able to maintain this kind of undisturbed mind because you see how they are impermanent how they are unsatisfactory you have no governability you have no control over them so you give up them and you become kind of a kind of a completely independent so the anisitta means that you are, you become independent so mind become independent of all that uh, sense sense phenomena so that is the solution buddha is giving us so how one can maintain that longer one can one is able to maintain that longer would be the peace isn't it <laughs> uh, uh, so i mean the interesting thing is here it mentions sanhun kelas because San, San Hun Keles. It, yeah mm. it doesn't mention no any uh, defilements nothing but mm. here is little uh, defilements help us to uh, they attain the true dham let's say uh. let's they, that mean all enemies now help us to achieve the same goal same. kind of things <laughs> mentioned ne- here like in the in the nivarana pub so the 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 kelas the defilements also have have the nature to come and go so nivarana say raga so raga also have the nature to come and go they are also not permanent visitors here they also just came here to go so i am not going to attach to them now they are coming and they are going i am seeing that also say anger okay, that is also coming and going so you see this uh, their true nature by being in a different island like say you assume that you are in an island so different ships are coming and going one ship approach and you see it and it has now gone and another ship coming it's coming and it's, uh, it's also has gone <laughs> but you are in the island you are undisturbed so that's why buddha mention deepam uh, kairatha medhavi yang ogham nadi nabhi kirati so the wise person is building that uh, kind of an island where the og the floods floods means the defilements so the floods the defilements can't disturb him so he has prepared this island for him so his his mind is in this island very much like an island undisturbed so they are going simply the outside you remain calm so you are maintaining the calmness of the mind stability of the mind very interesting i mean how one can achieve it through vipassana if one is able to uh, at least to some few minutes if one is able to maintain this 
now it has to be prolonged and stay there longer and longer so this this become a capacity for oneself so undisturbed undefiled unagitated independent kind of a mentality so that is the solace that is the refuge right so api navaru tuna hadrata kalin api game dewari huru kaduwa sanna sa that's it avilla geval huru kadu poyat den magi ge kawuda kedu igela balagana dewari avilla dewali huru ga adu me ka gen dahanne thiyana sa neyada ya <laughs> 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 Uh, any outside questions uh, who are who ever joining with the zoom sir bante sofa nati okay this side fine. also fine fine you have anything to contribute um, yeah yes bante for sir bante i thought maybe i might add something interesting about mm. my own experience mm. from my home country good back in kenya they have something called planting a seed uh ah. and that means giving a certain amount of money to a priest uh-huh. uh it, it's something that just has a striking resemblance to the sutra that we read today uh. Uh, so when you plant a seed uh you give some money to a priest uh. and uh, they use the term offering for that uh. but <laughs> you know what that means and it is said that when you plant a seed and it grows into a tree a plant or whatever and when the fruits come these fruits are for you good and uh if you have some sort of issue you know like you said uh you have a disease or you need a certain job mm. or you just want some problem out of your life you mm. plant this seed mm. you give some money Correct. and then when the plant bears fruits is <laughs> that is for you yes that is for you and that <laughs> means that your problems will go away go away mm-hmm. so um this is something that is very common common mm. also in kenya correct correct so yeah. every every culture i think yeah because all the humans are having that kind of a low mentality when they are going through some kind of a problem kind of a disease so they are asking external help help every time so the deities are the ones uh, they believe going to help them so that that culture is there so the buddha's answer here i mean basically gives another perspective so rather than you going and ask this thing so you become stable so so this you can't stop getting sick is uh, you can't stop say so seeing some un- un- unnecessary things you can't stop hearing some noisy or undisturbed sounds you disturbing sounds you can't stop but how about maintaining your mind stable irrespective of all that so that is the solution buddha is promoting Okay basically we have come through the the end of the discussion so i cordially invite venerable dhamma vijayesh to conduct the sharing of merits um, nice uh, nice uh, session today with uh, your teaching swaminath and the singala editions and just the uh, Uh, input from our various uh guests our various uh, yogis here so um bhikkhu bodhi translation um we'd like to offer these merits of this teaching and offer them to all beings and we'll do that with the traditional pali verses etavata chamhi sambatam